Really, guys? Who actually thinks these hitters are hitting these home runs without the help of a new baseball? Not me. What do I mean when I say a juiced baseball? Here's what I think. I think the baseball is easier to hit harder and further easier, but doesn't mean they can go super far or if they can go further than they used to. It means they're easier to hit further. Kind of more like a tennis ball where they're more spongy and with bad contact, it can still go further than the old baseballs could five years ago. In the last four years in MLB baseball, there's been an increase in the amount of total home runs hit. Now this has led to the speculation of the juice baseball. When approached with this question, MLB Commissioner Rob Manfred surprisingly denied that the baseball is juiced. Instead, he stated that scientists have found that companies are producing better baseballs which are wobbling less when hit, which means that the baseball has less drag, as he put it. In my opinion, because I've seen baseball, the ball doesn't look wobbling the ball doesn't wobble in the air. I mean, if it is wobbling, it's on a microscopic level. So the ball is maybe gonna go another two or three feet. And this wouldn't lead to the amount of home runs that's been being hit since 2016. It just wouldn't happen. One factor that could be leading to the juice ball is TV ratings. Let me explain. Baseball used to be the national pastime of the United States. And when the TV was invented, the movie theaters, people generally wanted to be more entertained. Baseball just wasn't enough. So people started to watch less and less of baseball, which means the TV ratings went down. And they've increasingly gone down and down and down over the years. And what I think would happen, MLB got together and said, how can we make the TV ratings go up? And they ask themselves, what's the most exciting moment in baseball? Obviously, it's the home run. Well, okay, we've identified the problem. How can we make more home runs? Let me think. How about we make the baseball easier to hit out of the ballpark? Well, there you go, juice baseballs. So they assumed that if they make the juice baseball, it'll make the TV ratings go up, more people will start watching baseball, more revenue will come up. And what's the problem with that? Well, I'll get into that later. Besides the juice baseball, let's look at a couple of other factors that could be leading to an increase in the amount of home runs. Let's start off with just the world population. In 1980, the world population was 4.4 billion, and today it's about near 8 billion. So, if the world population has gone up, more people have been playing baseball, which leads to better hitters. So let's say 1980, the top of the top of the top played in the MLB. Well, now the top of the top of the top of the top play MLB. And these hitters are so good that they're hitting the ball solid every time. Well, as the hitters have been getting better, the pitchers have too. But the pitchers are throwing harder than they ever have. So if they're throwing five to 10 miles an hour harder, that's more miles per hour getting transferred to the bat to hit it over the fence, just hit the ball harder in general. Another factor that could be leading to an increase in home runs is the strike zone. The strike zone used to be a whole lot bigger because you used to see pitchers like Tom Glavin and Greg Maddox wearing out the outside corner that they weren't even hitting or barely skimming and because the, they were around there, the umpires would give them the call every time. Now, the pitchers don't get that call. Well, maybe a few umpires get that call, but it's not league-wide. And the strike zone is way smaller because of that. And as I said earlier, the hitters are top of the top of the top of the top. And they're getting better pitches to hit because the strike zone's smaller, and they can tighten their strike zone up and look for better pitches to hit. So that increased with... Um, Pitchers throwing harder, better hitters, and smaller strikes and definitely has led to an increase in home runs in the last few years. However, 
those three factors do not lead me to believe that we should be seeing the amount of home runs we're seeing right now, which leads me to the conclusion, the logical conclusion, that there is a juice baseball right now in the MLB affecting how many home runs we are seeing. Now back to the point I made earlier about the one problem with the juice baseball. Baseball has been played for 150 years and people have been getting into the Hall of Fame with the same baseball be being played over the last, say, 146 years. <laughs> but these hitters now, if there is a juice baseball, are getting an unfair advantage and are getting better results than they would have 10 years ago. So that's a problem right now that the MLB needs to address and do it quickly. <laughs> that's all I got in today's video, guys. Thank you for watching.